we were a part of that Sri Lanka team when they won the 1996 World Cup. Arvind was a kind of a top class batsman at that point of time. And then uh, during a second stint between 1999 to 2003, you had players like Mahila Jawadana Kumar Sangakara. There's always a debate that goes on who is the best batsman uh, that Sri Lanka has ever produced, whether it's Arvind De Silva or Kumar Sangakara. I don't want to ask whether who is the best batsman, but what are the different styles and uh, in terms of their regime you saw between Arvind and uh, Sangakara? Uh, I, I see similarities between. Um Sangha and Ari in the in the fact of um, with batting and wanting to bat. Mahela is slightly different. I'm not sure he was uh, you know keen to to put in all those hours just having hitting balls. Um, so there's more than one way to, to become successful. Um, Aravinda, uh, Arjuna, I mean Ar- Aravinda Sangha and Mahela though had one thing in common, and that was the mental um, strength to overcome uh, adversity. And uh, it was really, really lovely to see, you know, you just got to not even say a word, just look into the eyes and you know that this there's something different about certain players. Moodley had it with the quicks, uh, with the, with the, from the bowling point of view. Varsi learnt it, became extremely good at it. Um, but certainly, you know, these three you know, superstar, that was what was in common. Um, the physical aspect of it all in preparation differed a little bit, uh, but certainly, you know, the strength uh, in your mind, which you absolutely need to have, uh, was quite evident.